this is my first video. This is uh, the start of my garden where I'm at so far after building three different garden beds. or are actually three garden beds in total, two different ones. Two of these types of the double stack raised beds and then one long raised bed right there that I have some corn growing in. So I got like about six, six different corn plants growing in this bed. I got about two little squashes, two different squashes. And then I got some, I think these are beets. I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember what I planted because I didn't put a label, so if you guys ever plant stuff, so always put a label. Over here is onion, but those actually did not so good. Here, it gets too much sun and the seedlings just really couldn't handle it for how much sun it gets and how warm it's been here in Texas lately. So I'm actually just gonna uncover some of that dirt and just transplant something else in its place. And I'll start the, the onion inside the greenhouse. And right here, these are little spinach seedlings. It's not that much, because these actually kind of haven't <clears throat> handled the heat and the sun out here too well either. So I'm actually just gonna change all this section out except for the beets and that's going to stay with the squash and I'll just transplant something over there and so over here we just wanted to test some corn we actually have some corn growing in a <clears throat> I think this is a, a 10 gallon bin Let's see that I got from Home Depot size so actually this is a 17 gallon bin that we actually have three stalks of corn growing and there's some other flowers that we have growing in there for now. But well, we're most likely gonna transplant that out into the raised bed. And just some other random flowers just to make it look nicer until we get all the rest of the beds built. We got a nice little flower right there. So over here we actually have some bigger squashes that I bought at Home Depot and transplanted into here. But I'm actually going to Re be replanting some squash. This is a purple bok choy plant growing. And I got a different one over here. This is a habanada pepper plant. I just transplanted these a few days from the seed tray that they were in. So that's why they're very small. And you got some in here that you can barely see. Let's see what this is on the label. That is a purple carrot seedling. This one I believe is a uh, purple kale. And this is a Roma tomato plant. Over here, this one's growing pretty good. This is a wasabi radish plant planning on growing those and dicing those up and adding them to salads to add a little spice and these are the other kale seedlings so I'm just experimenting right now with how that stuff goes so we'll see see how they do and on, the, on this side of the house <clears throat> this gets the afternoon sun and then it gets the evening yeah, this gets afternoon shade and evening sun. So these are actually kind of growing a lot better. These are uh, mini pepper. This is a mini pepper plant. Pretty much I got those, uh, I bought a pack of uh, mini sweet peppers at the grocery store. And after I ate the peppers, I saved the seeds, washed them, germinated them, and just planted them. So it's going pretty good. I got another one right here. This is another purple bok choy. But those ones... I kind of transplanted kind of early so they're not that one didn't take that well this one you can see some purple on the leaves and you can see the green where the new ones are growing I'm gonna grow up from and then the leaves will turn purple and then I got my mustard greens right here which is not too bad it's not too uh, it's pretty pretty strong enough you can hear a little crispy a little bit it's not too fluffed and flailing and these are just different tomato plants So it's it's going. It takes a little while. It takes about almost three months for those to grow. So those are barely 
just a couple of weeks in, so. And here's my onion. Onions take a while to, but I just all planted this in the summertime. So now it's the end of May, so some of this stuff should have planted much earlier within a few weeks after the last, last of the frost, probably around like April was showed up was when I should have started this but this is what I have going for now so and this all right here is uh, potatoes I'm growing potatoes in a bag I bought these bags I don't remember how many gallons these are I think they might be a, a 10 gallon bag might be less I'm not sure and it has a little when they're finished it has a little pouch right here and you open it up you open it up and you can grab your potatoes out when they're ready so I'll make more videos about how to do that. I'll plant some, post a video about that. And I have another one over here of a different, of a different type of tomato. I think these ones are the red skin tomatoes that I planted in here first. And then I did some golden tomatoes in that other one that I just saw. You can tell this one I did first. So this one's already starting to flower. So this one's already getting ready to be done pretty soon. Hopefully in another month that should be ready. And that's it. I have a rosemary right here, and I'll show you guys. You just buy a rosemary <clears throat> plant from Home Depot, and you can just clip off the tops of these and put them into a, a little jar by the windowsill, and you can grow new rosemary plants just from buying one plant. So I'll post a video about that. Oh, and we actually have a mango, a mango that's growing right here. <clears throat> just bought some mangoes at the grocery store. Obviously ate the fruits that are delicious cleaned off the seeds and germinated them and we got a little mango tree growing it's gonna take a while for that thing to grow but <clears throat> but that's what gardening is all about trying to save money and grow stuff yourself and especially if you have a home and you have the space we have a lot of space here I'm gonna put another similar bed just like this that I'm gonna make a video about right across and two more of the other beds right back here on this side back here and it's going to be all leading up right into the greenhouse where I'm going to be building shelves and this is where I'm going to be starting all my ceilings everything in here got a couple windows got a <clears throat> couple things I got to fix in here for some uh, ventilation and exhaust because it's going to get hot in the Texas summer so I need to have to put an exhaust in here to grow these seedlings don't kill them it'll get over a hundred over 110 degrees no problem in here just 110 into summer here let alone confined in a little greenhouse it'll get even hotter so things are different little seedlings we got a tomatillo grant plant growing and a couple other different ones that they're all different ones labeled that's an orange tree got bought an orange and germinated the seed from <clears throat> the grocery store so we got an orange tree growing different is a bell pepper plant right there that's a butter lettuce plant this is a blood orange tree I really wanted I love blood oranges so bought blood oranges at my local HEB and germinated the seed and got a little blood orange growing and we got a different one right here that's a broccoli plant right there the little cilantro that you can see starting to sprout up. And it's an arugula. Gonna probably have to probably plant some new ones. This is just all the tests for now, as they barely just started all this. And here is an early wonder, early wonder beets plant. So you can already see it's a deep red beet plant. Beets very healthy for you, so I wanted to grow those. And here is a different pepper plant. Oh, and right here, these are different, different seedlings, so I got some beans uh, sprouting up right now, and I have a bunch of tomatoes. These are all just pure different tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, some uh, San Marzano tomatoes. So I got a bunch of tomatoes, so when I build those beds, they can get transplanted. Go right in it, it's gonna grow right, it's gonna grow good. And right in here, I barely, I barely just put this together. This is a ginger. This is gonna be a ginger plant. I barely just planted the whole ginger. I'll make a video about that in the future and see how it's done. And you can see the, and I'll show you an update later in the future on how that comes out. All right here, I got a little composter that I just set up and put out here. 
it's a miracle Grow brand dual chamber composter so you pretty much just fill your scrap ins and your grass clip ins and some brown leaves we don't have any leaves here so i gotta find uh or you put uh, some paper you know you just need your nitrogen from either grass or different sources and then you put some uh carbon elements into it usually leaves or uh paper shredded paper stuff like that <clears throat> And uh, you start one side, and then you can be working on another side, filling it up while one side is working in there. And just once a week, you just give it a, you give it a twist. You put some water in it to keep the moisture and the heat in there, and it just does its process. So I'll make a video about that in the future too. And that's it. And you can see just uh, how the rest of my backyard looks. Pretty, we barely just moved into this house last year, so we got a big backyard of a bunch of different things that we're going to do right here by the window I'm actually going to remove a whole section out I've only done about half which I gotta go over again because I was testing out a tiller so I gotta do this other half section up to the steps and this whole section I believe it comes out a couple feet like three four feet from the wall we're gonna put plant some plants in there do a drip irrigation system and just grow some nice little nice flowers up there and then it's actually going to end up here in the future we're actually end up going to build a gate that gates off this section and have a little path and a walkway all the way up with some pavers or some other different things we decide to do that's going to go all the way up into that greenhouse so it's going to look all nice going to be gated and do all sorts of things so all right